Hi guys, how are you all? Please let me know in the below comment section. So this video is all about the traveling vlog. So I'll be traveling to Badami Caves from Bangalore, which is around 450 kilometers. And I'm going along with my two friends and it's been like seven months. I didn't meet them. So I'm very much excited to meet them. So the next thing is people who are planning for a weekend trip can go to this place it's a very beautiful place and in this video like i'll be sharing with you the three main things one thing is the budget so what it costed me for the entire trip and the second thing is i'll be talking about the places which i visited and the third thing is the transportation in badami so if you want to go to any places in badami so whether you can take a local bus or an auto or a taxi everything in detail i'll be discussing in this video so please do keep watching this video till the end and also don't forget to hit like and subscribe button Welcome to Badami. We reached Badami around 9.30 am in the morning. The bus was delayed by two hours. We walked through the city of Badami to reach the hotel we had booked. This room we booked from Make My Trip. After all discount, we just had to pay Rs. 1071 for one day. After sharing among each friends, per person it costed around Rs. 357. Isn't it a good deal? already had a plan for which places we have to visit. So according to that, we hired an auto for both the days which costed around Rs. 1500. So per person, it is Rs. 500 for both the days. On day 1, we had planned to visit Aihole and Pattadakallu. Aihole is around 35 km from Badami and Pattadakallu is around 22 km which is in between Badami and Aihole. On the way to Haihole, we came across this beautiful sunflower fields. We also met some of the local lights and they invited us inside their house. So we reached Aihole and Aihole is also called as Aiwali. To reach the monument, we need to travel around 2 kilometers inside the village. Here the bus frequency is very less, so that is the reason we need to hire an auto or a taxi.
Aiholi is a historical site of ancient Buddhist, Hindu and Jain monument. It is said that this monument was built in 4th to 12th century. The next place we reached is Pattadakkal or it is also called as Pattadakkallu. This monument is located next to the highway. It is a complex of Hindu and Jain temple located on the west bank of Malaprabha river in Bagalkot district. Since the previous day was too much of journey, we got up late. We checked out and we kept our luggage in the counter in the same hotel. Then we started the day with a nice breakfast. The first place we visited was Banshankari Temple which is 7 km from Badami. This temple is a very famous temple. Don't miss visiting this temple if you are visiting Badami. The next place we visited is the Badami Cave which is the most awaited place to be visited. The entrance ticket is around 35 rupees per person. Badami Cave Temple are the complex of Hindu and Jain Cave Temple located in Badami town. There are four different caves to be visited. The first cave is dedicated to God Shiva. Second cave is dedicated to God Vishnu. Third cave is dedicated to God Mahavishnu and fourth cave is dedicated to Jain cave which is the smallest cave among all the caves.
So the next place was Badami Museum. So Badami Museum is near to the Badami Caves and the ticket is around 5 rupees. Since the photography is prohibited, I couldn't take any pics or any videos. So Badami Fort is also nearby to the Badami Museum. Since it was raining heavily, I couldn't go to Badami Fort. So the next place we visited was Bhutnath Temple which is one of the famous temple in the town. So Bhutnath Temple is situated in between the Badami Caves and Badami Fort. So right in front of Bhutna temple there is a beautiful pleasant lake by name Agastya lake finally came to an end all the monuments we visited will be closed by 6 pm later we headed back to hotel and it was nice of them that they provided us an accommodation to help ourselves change later we had our dinner and we went to the bus point and i also forgot to mention the fare of the bus from bangalore to badami and badami to bangalore the overall the bus ticket was around 1550 rupees so the overall budget of the entire trip was per person was around 3200 rupees hope you like watching this video and please do like and subscribe my channel till then take care bye bye